A civil rights group is suing for the release of medically vulnerable immigrants locked up in jails all across the state. They say they're at high risk for COVID-19 and don't deserve a death sentence. Our Ross Jones has the story from Detroit. Where you were born shouldn't determine whether you live or die. The ACLU of Michigan yesterday filed suit against U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, fighting for the release of immigrants detained in jails throughout the state. Miriam Aukerman is one of the ACLU's senior staff attorneys. And the reason people are in detention is because they don't have citizenship. These are people who are trying to get citizenship and they can't get citizenship. These are people who are struggling to make life here. People like Jenner Chinchilla Flores, who came to the U.S. from Costa Rica 19 years ago and has been detained at the Monroe County Jail since February. He suffers from chronic asthma, but while he's been locked up, according to the lawsuit, hasn't been provided with an inhaler. In the St. Clair County Jail alone, where 40 detainees are being held, the sheriff there just announced multiple cases of COVID-19, but wouldn't say just how far it's spread. It is a tinderbox. We know, we've already seen cases starting in St. Clair. It's only a matter of time that every single immigration detention facility in Michigan is going to have uh, widespread problems with COVID-19. In a statement, I said they are reviewing cases of individuals in detention who may be vulnerable to the virus and may place individuals in a number of alternatives to detention options. Being an immigrant should not be a death sentence. And unless ICE releases people from these facilities, it will be. This week, judges released two inmates represented by the ACLU, including 55-year-old Amir Toma, who's been in detention since September. He came to the U.S. 10 years ago from Iraq and today needs a wheelchair just to get around. Judge Judith Levy said his health conditions warranted his release. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Ross.